All right, folks, I'm back. Um, I removed the um, mag base and clock from the work area. I um, shifted the carriage right up to the left and made sure that the, the tool was out past the chuck. Uh, and then I moved the tailstock right in to the, the workpiece. I scored the workpiece on a dead center, slackened it, slackened the chuck, uh, rotated it slightly, making sure that there was positive pressure on the workpiece against the uh, dead center, and then I tightened up the, uh, the chuck again. Removed the tailstock, replaced the mag base, set the um, the, the clock to a top dead center on zero, and I am now getting six thou run out. Uh, I don't know how clear that is. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. I don't want to waste too much time zooming in and out. I just guess a bit better. So there's top dead center. Well, it's maybe one thou under. Is it, you know, this um, arm isn't solid the whole way down. This is an adjustment here, it pivots on that pin there. So the only thing that's holding this uh, arm really is this bit of uh, spring steel here. It's like a clip. So it's, it's not particularly robust or secure. So very little pressure has a effect on the, the clock, right? So I'd say that's on the zero there, top dead center. And uh, the maximum deflection I'm getting is six. Six and a half, seven absolute maximum. Um, so I'm happy with that, right? I'm just going to go. I'm just going to go with that. I'm not spending any more time on setting the job up. I'm going to pause it there, and I'm going to start cutting the thread. I'll uh, I'll be back in a moment with the results. Alright folks, um, I've had an attempt this past, well, 10 minutes now I suppose, at cutting my thread and it's been a failure, right? A um, little bit disappointed, right? The tool is either, sorry, the tool is either too flexible or the material I'm trying to cut is too hard. Um, I've tried using oil and I've tried running it dry. When I run it dry she seems to actually pick up and uh, cut a little bit better than she does with oil. Uh, but in either case what's happening is, is the tool is deflecting inwards or away from the, the face of the the bore and just sort of skimming or riding along the top of the face. Uh, I've ensured that the tool post nut is clamped down tight tight um, and as you can see there there's possibly some movement of the tool itself but on checking the, um, the how parallel the tool is or the tip of the tool is to the uh, body of the, the bolt it's still a uh, relatively parallel you know so um, I don't think it, if it's moved at all it hasn't moved much having said that there is limited success um, if I can get a shot of the situation here, I'll 
try and zoom in now a little bit. Yeah. 